Good afternoon and welcome to today's carnival. Standing in the atrium of the beautiful Carnival Horizon in front of this wonderful three-story tall dreamscape, we're here today to show you all of the great features that Carnival has to offer after our extensive Funship 2.0 upgrades. Carnival, it's all about the food. I'm just walking out of our 555 Fahrenheit Steakhouse, award-winning and an amazing, amazing dining option on board the beautiful Carnival Horizon. Beside me here is the Alchemy Bar. The Alchemy Bar is where you can get your favorite drinks mixed by a professional mixologist who wears a white lab coat. They ask you how you're feeling, they ask you your drink of choice, and they will make you something special. This is not to be missed. Right here beside me is the Banzai Sushi, and this is where it reminds me about the Vista class ship, which is the Horizon. The, the Horizon is in that uh, family of vessels the al fresco dining. So the idea is to bring the outside in and the inside out. So you can eat here for lunch, you can eat here for dinner, and you have the choice of dining inside or out depending on the weather. This is a wonderful, wonderful option. New to the Carnival Horizon is the Banzai uh, Teppanyaki. As you can see, there's uh, two tables in here where we wow the crowd who eats here for both lunch and dinner with uh, not only an entertainment option, but also a great dining option. And that is also something that uh, I think is a, is a tremendous, tremendous opportunity not to be missed as well. So this, this, uh, this area on the ship uh, is, uh, is in between the atrium and the ocean plaza. And uh, earlier on, we showed you the dreamscape. This is the second dreamscape on this vessel. So uh, sometimes people get confused. Is it the atrium? Is it not the atrium? It's actually a second atrium within the casino and the midship. Then we move over here to the piano bar. Obviously, our piano bars are very famous on board Carnival Cruise Line. Uh, these are where people can rock the night away. Uh, they can order their favorite drinks. They can sing along with their fellow cruisers. And they can also request some amazing songs from the piano man or woman, for that matter. And lastly, we have the library bar. The library bar is a great place to get away from it all, get a glass of wine, read a book, and wind down after a fun-filled day in the sun. We challenged our travel professionals this week on board the Carnival Horizon to describe their experience without using the word fun in one word. Experiential, spectacular, phenomenal. As Guy Fieri says, welcome to Flavor Town. This is the beautiful Pig and Anchor restaurant on board the Carnival Horizon. By day, it's a brew pub, and by night, it's a great restaurant where you can get the world famous trash can nachos and some pig pie. Welcome to the Havana Bar. Come on in. This is a great area where it is a Latin inspired space that really rocks the night away. You can imagine at night a, about a 12 piece band in here with people doing the salsa, people doing the tango. It's an amazing, amazing experience. And what's even better about this spot is on this vessel, there's a private pool area for people who are staying in the Havana stateroom. So what they do is they have a special access to this space from early morning till late at night before it opens up for the rest of the folks on the ship. And the nice thing about that is you're guaranteed a spot by the pool and you're guaranteed a place to lay in the sun. Thrilling, fantastic, amazing. So in addition to many specialty and casual dining options, we always have our traditional main dining room experience on Carnival Cruise Line. We happen to be in the Meridian dining room on the beautiful Carnival Horizon, and this is where the Your Time Dining takes place, which starts at 5.30 each evening and runs through to 9.30. The great thing about this spot is you can grab a cocktail before or after dinner to either wait for a table or continue the conversation with friends and family after a great meal. Here we are on deck 15, better known as the Serenity Deck, and this is where you'll find our adult-only retreat. It's open to people 21 years and older, it's free of charge, and it's a great place to get away from all the hustle and bustle after a busy day. Adventurous. Exciting. Impressive. As part of Carnival's $2 billion fleet-wide renovation, did you know that we now have over 50 branded Carnival spaces? And this one right here is the Limelight Lounge. The Limelight Lounge is best known as the place to see top world-class comedians at the Punchliner each evening for both family friendly and adult entertainment. We're now in the Liquid Lounge. The Liquid Lounge is our main show theater on board the Carnival Horizon. And this is the space where we have our playlist production shows which are absolutely phenomenal. 
And the one that can't be missed is Celestial Strings. It's the number one rated show on Carnival Cruise Line. We hear so much about multi-generational travel and we're lucky enough to come across an entire family here on Carnival Horizon. And Mimi, you are a travel agent, so you will tell us exactly why you think it's ideal for your entire family. There is so much stuff to do on Carnival ships, especially the Horizon. Whether you're a uh, grandparent or a parent or a child, um, we have our space for everything. If um, you don't want to be with the kids, you go to Serenity, which is adults only, where my parents love to go while we're enjoying the kids um, at the water park. And then after there's kids club for us to enjoy the rest of our night so we can really do everything um, separately or together as a family. Now, the most important people aboard this ship right now are the younger generation. So we want to hear directly from you. What is it that you love about being on this ship? On the ship, I like to do the obstacle course because I like to do, I like to do, um, I like to do, um, I like to take risks and I like sports. And do you love the Dr. Seuss area? Yes. And now you look like you're a bit of a daredevil. What do you love about the ship? I do the um, obstacle course because I'm a little funny monkey. Because <laughs> you're a little funny monkey. Anything else? And I like the slides because sometimes when it's really hot, you just go to slides and after it's so refreshing. And that's why I like for a second thing. Okay, well, we're going to have to watch you on one of those slides. We'll get a shot of you later, okay? Tanya, I think a lot of travel agents look to Encore Cruises for advice on all of the choices of ships that are out in the marketplace. Where within that scale of choices would you put Carnival Horizon? Wow, Carnival Horizon is very impressive. It's a beautiful ship. It's actually one of the ships that I would see as really high, uh, high class out there. Um, it's one of the top ones I would actually recommend to sell. And because um, it's always been positioned as the fun ships, do you think that that moniker still applies? It does, because it is a fun ship, but it also gives you a different level. It's very high, it's a different, it's a different class. It's a lot more toned down in the color schemes, so you feel that level of classiness in the ship, so it's, it's quite different in that level. And are you enjoying it? Very much, very much. Outstanding. Entertaining. Satisfying. Wow, it's so hard to describe Carnival in one word, but some of the words that come to mind are things like family, togetherness, value, uh, welcoming, inviting. Uh, it, remarkable, quite remarkable. Uh, but you know you really want me to say fun, so I'm going to say it. We're fun. Thanks for joining us.